Hey, what's up everybody? It's Johnny Lonnie with Trifecta Off-Road. In the spirit of trying to have new content, I got a new video for you guys today. I'm doing a bumper on a 2003 Chevy Silverado. Uh, it's got the updated front end, as you can see, one piece clip with the long travel kit. This is a badass truck. This is a truck that I would totally rock if I was going to get one. Anyways, let's get straight to it. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do today. All right, so today on this bumper, what we're doing is uh, we, we got a radius front tube bumper here. Uh, my buddy at Teague Metalworks did that for me. He does awesome gates. Definitely a dude to hit up if uh, you guys need any gates, custom gates. They do really good work. Um, so with that being said, we are going to, uh, let's get straight to it. We're going to end up plating the front right here. Uh, that's going to be where our two tubes for the skid plate are going to go. And this truck was in a crash, so they've already done some modifications to it. They uh, cut back the frame. They plated it. So we're going to end up going off of this. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to clearance some of this out to kind of get the uh, look that we're looking for. But um, this is going to end up being like a two – it's going to actually have three skid plates on here. We're going to have the main skid coming up and then two skids on the side. All right. So I've added the tubes for the skid plate. I plated the frame. And now the next step is I'm going to take some tubes that I got right here. We're going to stick them in here. And that's going to make our plate on the side. So uh, I did have to notch out a portion of the core support to allow this tube to sit in there. So I'm going to work on these tubes right now. I'll tack those in. I've cleaned off all the metal where I'm going to weld. And uh, we'll go forward from there. All right, so I got these tubes tacked in, and now I got to uh, measure out for the skid plates and see how those are going to fit. So um, my main goal is to make sure that I got a straight line with this skid plate and this this one. So <clears throat> I got to show you my failures, too. <laughs> I had to cut this tube out. Um, you know, things don't always go right, and honestly, I fully welded that tube I probably shouldn't have done that. It would have been a lot easier, less time consuming, but I made a new tube now. I'm going to throw it in here. It was slightly off. I had about, um, I think it was like a half inch difference. This tube was just uh, too far in, and so I just need to move it out a little bit so that the tubes are even. So, hey, everybody messes up. Luckily, um, if you're smart like me, you don't fully weld tubes, and then you could just cut out a tack weld and fix it. So, uh there you go. Sometimes I bet you the guys don't show their mess ups on these videos. Well, I will. So I took the ruler and I sprayed some uh, primer on here to make it easier to see my lines. But what that ruler trick does is it gives you like the plane. It's a good spot it's just to take measurements for the skid plate. All right, so I got the skid plate mocked up. I use uh, these little clamps from Home Depot. They're pretty useful. Um, probably hard to see, but I got my tabs behind here. I marked all of the uh, holes with a marker. So I'm going to drill them out, chamfer them, and then I got to work on these side plates. All right, so I got the skid plates on. Um, I use my stainless steel Allen head bolts, countersunk. I, th I do think I need to get a different uh, countersink bit. But uh, beyond that, super stoked on how this thing came out. So, got everything mounted, fully welded, and pretty happy with the out. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this bumper as much as I did. Make sure to check out my other projects on my Instagram. Johnny Sells SoCal is my name on there. And also, if you guys need to do anything real estate wise, that is what I do full time, uh, definitely get in touch with me. I'm in the Southern California area. If you need to buy or sell, I'd love to help you out. Um, also, make sure to like and subscribe to my videos. So until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.